guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, first of all, I would like to tell you like about news. Um, my Hickman line that like um, is the place where I have my IV nutrition like transmitted has been leaking, and so I have to be hospitalized and um, have it fixed. Yeah, so um, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I afford to have like such a big um, like a mass collection and such a big handbag collection and they were wondering if like you know like I was someone that has a lot of cash to splurge and um, I want to tell you that you know that is not the truth and I just want to tell you that my job sort of like um, enables my so-called um, addiction if you will and yeah so basically um, in the place where I live the Birkin is really popular and um, the, it's almost impossible to get here except if you go into like a second-hand store like the fashion files in New York yeah so what I do is that like because of my condition I cannot travel but I have like um, a couple girlfriends who would go fly to Paris and we've built up a really good relationship with a couple of essays since like um, a few years ago and that was by you know buying like um, a lot of um, non Birkin items such as like Twillies um, bracelets, shoes, and um, ties, you know, perfumes and things, etc. And um, they were also like really interested in us because we were from we we're from Hong Kong. And yeah, so we built up a re very good relationship with um, a couple of like sales as associates. And so they are very willing to offer us like uh, Birkin bags, which are in the colors that we want. So um, what we do is that we would buy like I would ask them, I would give them the money and I would ask them to buy like maybe two or three Birkin handbags and then um, I would resell them to either like an individual um, customer or to like the second hand store like the Fashion Files, some something like the Fashion Files um, here in Hong Kong and um, I can get like about 40% higher than what I paid for the bag because first of all the bag is about it's a lot cheaper from Paris, um, especially of because of the pricing system and also that we can claim our taxes back when we leave the country. So um, after the deduction of taxes and also the price differences, the bag would be, you know, like a lot cheaper. So I can basically make a 40% profit, yeah. So um, let's say if I were to get a bag for about um, twelve thousand dollars I can resell it for eighteen thousand so um, yeah so with that money I can purchase like myself one bag if I sold like two bags or if I sold three then I can even like purchase another like Louis Vuitton bag so recently I've just unboxed this um, a mess um, a Makassar Birkin 35 Togo and the gold hardware yeah, and um, I sold, like, I think I sold a couple of black ones with palladium hardware, and I also sold one with, uh, a Makassar one with um, the palladium hardware, which is like um, this one here that I've got. This is the Makassar one with the palladium hardware, yeah. So, um, and then um, I also have one that is coming in, which is the gold one in the gold hardware which I intend to keep for a while but um, I plan to sell this one with the palladium hardware yeah and I've also got a customer who's going to buy my uh, Bordeaux uh, uh, Birkin 35 Togo which uh, is the color that just came out in this type of leather this year yeah so um, and um, there's another thing that I want to mention and there's it's like some particular colors such as the uh, Green Twist Pal, which uh, I've got two of them, and this is the one with the gold hardware, and um, I've also got another one in the palladium hardware, and this is a color which is highly, so highly sought after that basically the like shop manager of the second hand store was like begging me to sell it like at a very much higher price than what I got it for, but I I don't uh, plan to sell them in the near future. Um, I'm thinking about like keeping them like in pristine condition for a while and yeah the prices 
gonna like continue to rise and like when I have a situation where I have to spend a lot of money and then I would sell them that is to prevent myself from getting you know like um unnecessary like items such as like um, luxury jewelry or like other brands of handbags such as like Louis Vuitton ones and like Chanel ones which like you know like don't sell as well like for example if you get like a Chanel handbag you can only sell it for a second hand price whereas with an MS handbag if you use it really carefully and if you keep it in a pristine condition and um, yeah then you can basically sell it as the price of the like original one of the brand new one if you keep the receipt the dust bag the raincoats the box and everything intact yeah so that's how I pay for my uh, collection of my handbag yeah so yeah so right now my favorite is this Makassar one with the gold hardware and I just love it to bits because um, I think it's just absolutely gorgeous like look at the grains of the leather and you know like how well the gold is matching the like the Makassar which is like a brown color that has a tone of gray uh, on it yeah so um so I hope you guys now realize how I can afford um you know like uh my big collection of designer handbags yeah so um I love you from the moon and back and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah so and I hope you find it interesting how like you know in the city here this bag is so highly sought after that you know I can make such a big profit by selling just a couple you know yeah so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel I will continue to have a lot of interesting videos to come so thanks for watching guys bye